All right. So this is going to be our big scab piece right here. That's going to join the two sections. Now we're going to have six and a half feet of overhang on each side. So that's going to, I think that'll do just fine to beef this up. I'm kind of just working with what I have, to be quite honest with you. You know, I've, uh, a lot of you guys have been recommending Matt Cremona's series on building this trailer. And I catch up with, with Matt's work from time to time, but I haven't really sat down and watched that series. But I'll tell you what, got some excellent information in that series, just like you guys said, the ones who told me to check it out. I was highly impressed. I'll tell you what. That little man can move some stuff. I don't know how he does it without killing himself, but boy, <laughs> it's always impressive. Now he, he must be, uh, he's got to be in his early 30s by now. So probably, you know, I know my early 30s, I was moving all kinds of shit I shouldn't have moved and finally getting to the point in life, you know, I'm 39, which is a drop in the bucket compared to some of you viewers, but, uh, I know I can really start to feel things now, and I'm still in pretty good shape, but it's just kind of funny. You know, the stuff you do, and how it affects your body later on. So I've kind of come to the conclusion, you know, in life, that I want to be able to continue to do the stuff that I love doing for as long as I possibly can. And I finally figured out the only way that's going to happen is if I start putting the things in place now to make it all easier on my body. And that's kind of getting to be, that's getting to be the important thing to me, is getting to where I can just do this stuff without, you know, I don't want to get hurt again. I guess that's... I guess that's the big thing right there, you know, that, that leaves a mark, it leaves an impression. That feeling you get when you finally learn, well shit, you're not invincible anymore. You can't just do some of the stupid shit you've always done and not feel the effects of it. Those days are gone. Long gone. Now I believe that I mentioned early on that this stuff was used as a racking somewhere but it wasn't laid up on edge like you would expect it. They had it flopped down. So a lot of these pieces from years of sitting like that have developed kind of a banana. I'm finding it has not been too hard to work with. It's actually been a lot easier than I thought it would be. But uh, yeah, I think we see a little bit too much in life, but it is what it is, but that is kind of the way it is. So all I'm going to do is just kind of work this down. Get everything kind of where I want it. I like it right there. Let's do some welding, huh? We're not going to go crazy with running a full bead down this right now. That's simply not necessary at this point. But I do want to weld it every few feet and uh, see what develops from there. We just don't want all that heat in one space and that's just going to start warping our piece. But the sucky part is I do have to get under here and tack it in some spots here and there. And then we just go from there.
have to get creative with this. <laughs> Should be interesting. That's what we call ugly, but ugly may be just fine. Just to hold this together for now.
Okay, let's take you guys on a shaky camera walk. So here's what we have so far. Now if you're brand new to this little project we have going, this is going to be a 21 foot long sawmill trailer for our band sawmill. So, I had a ton of suggestions on the last couple of videos about doing some kind of a rotisserie for this. And uh, you know what? I think that's a fabulous idea. So we have a nipple on this end, a 3 inch Schedule 40 pipe nipple welded on here, but I'm not going to build an actual stand. I have big timbers in this building and I'm going to take advantage of them. So we're going to use chain falls to get both ends lifted up and be able to spin it. So coming down we have, if I can get this cat to leave me alone. So we have all this tacked up through here both sides. I went a little too far on my welds there. It brought it a little bit out of line, not too bad. I think once we uh, do the other side it'll be just fine on the bottom side. Keep coming along. So a lot of you guys are wondering about bracing and how we were going to do that. So I was thinking today, I have a ton of black iron pipe kicking around. A lot of short pieces. So that's what those are there. And there's some X braces to get any torquing in between these uh, 6 inch channel iron webs. Give them to me. Then tack weld them in the middle. We'll do top and bottom tack welds. Moving along, we have the other the other guy here and this damn barn cat just will not leave me alone. He thinks we're friends. So we have this side tack welded. I got the underside as best I could. It's with only six inches of clearance to the floor. It's not an easy job just using the stud pieces, so could be better, could be worse. But anyway, we're moving along. We have to build the tongue and all that. We have a whole lot to do on this. I think before I go any further, I'm going to get the rest of our cross pieces in for the sawmill bunks. That way I'm not trying to move this. I want to get a bunch of bracing to keep this thing from racking when I do spin it over to do all the bottom side welding and get the axles attached. So anyway, we're going to keep carrying on and this has taken me forever. A lot of it's because I've got to clean every piece of metal. I've got to grind other pieces of metal off of it and it's actually uh, i tell you what, for every full length one of these, it takes me about probably an hour and a half, two hours to get it all cleaned up properly so we can use it. So it's definitely slowing me down. But at the same time, everything you see right here, except for the black sawmill track, I don't have a dime invested in any of this except for some welding rod. So I guess I will just have to deal with uh, the time it's going to take. It's other, other, Otherwise... I'm going to go buy it, I suppose. But you guys know how I feel about that. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.